Michael Ojemudia. I mean, we haven't heard him talked about enough, especially after the Broncos decided to draft Damari Mathis, bringing in Fion Hicks. And once again, I'll make the same point here about OJ. I loved his final game last season against the Chiefs. Now, obviously, he suffered that very, very scary injury in the preseason against Seattle, held them out all the way throughout the season until the second to last game against the Los Angeles Chargers and then the home finale against the Kansas City Chiefs where he balled out 11 tackles, four passes defense. Now one could have had a couple of interceptions there, but he showcased why I think he should be on this roster. But the Broncos drafting other cornerbacks definitely gives me a little bit of concern. OJ gets slept on a lot, Sarah, and I, you know, that's my worry here for him going forward is that he's slept on a lot by Broncos fans. Nobody's talking about him enough. So the only way to change that is going in the preseason making some plays. That's right. And, and I think that that's exactly what he's going to do. You just need a fully healthy, you know, season from him, right? That's, that's, I think all he needs. And it's easy to forget because he did start his entire rookie season that this is only his third year in the NFL. I mean, it feels like because he was out for so long last year, it kind of feels like he's been around for longer. And maybe that's just the pandemic year made, made time slow down for a while there. But I think definitely it's, it's not necessarily a make or break year for him. I think he's a value asset to the Denver Broncos. I think he's somebody that they need to continue to pour into. Let Ezero Evero and that defensive back staff, Christian Parker, let those guys pour into Michael Ojemudia because he's got the physical talent. He's got the athleticism and obviously he's got the toughness. That's one of the things I think you look for the most from these defensive backs. Can you come up and can you come up and make a hit? Can you come up and be physical? Because remember his rookie season, we, we saw a couple of times where he dropped some interceptions. Then there was was other moments where he went in and he jarred the ball loose with some yeah. big time hits. So the highlight reel on OJ Moody is nice. The the low light reel, we remember the Chase Claypool push off that resulted in a touchdown. We remember the touchdowns that he gave up his rookie year. Rookies should be expected to do those kind of things yeah. at times. But I think OJ, he is getting slept on. I feel like maybe, and I'm just, I, I the wheels are in motion right now, Cody. So I'm just thinking out loud here. Is he the eventual replacement for Ronald Darby if you have to clear some cap space next offseason? Getting way ahead of myself there, almost a year out. But you just think in terms of roster building, I feel like OJ Moody has a chance to really prove himself this season to a new staff. I'm glad you brought that point up because I don't think many people actually think about that. They're like, oh, well, you know, they have Ronald Darby, they have Patrick Sertan. Well, you know, one of these guys is going to be the odd man out, but th that's a great point. This could be a great step in type of role here for Michael Ojemudia if, in fact, the Broncos do want to move on from Ronald Darby after this year or even after next year. Finding a way to maximize what you have with a guy that's been on your roster and has been developing. I mean, I'd say that's the thing about OJ. He has been developing and he still has some ample time left in his deal with the Denver Broncos. Big time thing here for Michael Ojemudia.